Philippines, what up, what up, what up? You already know it's your main man, D -D -D DJ, Stan J. Check this out, man. We're going to get straight to the point right here. As a black American ambassador of the hip-hop culture, anywhere I go in the world, I'm here in the Philippines right now. A lot of great Philippines artists, a lot of dope Philippines artists, a lot of very talented Filipino artists, man. Local artists, major artists, there's a lot of talented people out here, no doubt about it. But check this out. Ex Battalion. How is it that y'all claim to be the best and you call yourselves the best out here? But obviously, you copy black American music, you copy black American style, you copy black American culture. Yet, you never work with any black people. You never collab with any black American artists. That's all, I, that's all I'm asking. As an ambassador of American hip hop and an ambassador of black culture, anywhere I go in the world. I just want to know that. Ex Battalion, I'm going to ask again. How is it you claim to be the best and you call yourself the best? But obviously, you copy black American music. You copy black American culture. You copy black American style. But yet you refuse. Word on the street, word in the Philippines. Music industry is Ex Battalion. You refuse to work with foreign artists. You refuse to work in particular with black artists and black people. What part of the game is that? I ain't talking about... Now check this out. This ain't no beef right here. This ain't no animosity right here. This ain't no... I'm definitely no hater. I'm living good. DJ Stan J living good in the Philippines. Whole family living good in the Philippines. You dig what I'm saying? So it's nothing like that, man. So let's not get it twisted. But as a hip-hop ambassador, as an ambassador, a proud ambassador of black American culture, anywhere I go on this planet, I got to ask this question, ex Battalion, how you claim to be the best, but you refuse to work with black people? What's really going on with that? Now, I don't know y'all dudes personally. Otherwise, I pick up the phone and I dial you directly and ask you the same exact thing. I try to get at y'all a few different ways online here and there. Ain't nobody responding to it, so I'm asking right here, and I'm posting this on my own page right now. We're talking hip-hop now. I ain't talking none of, the, none of the other stuff, man. I ain't talking about none of the stuff about y'all I see online, none of the stuff I see in the vlogs about, you know what I'm saying, some of y'all beat your wives or cheating on your wives, cheating on your pregnant girlfriends and, and all that, and crying on stage. That's none of my business, man. Ain't none of that none of my business, man. We're talking about hip-hop right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's one thing to be influenced by, you know what I'm saying, American hip-hop culture. But it's another thing to seemingly steal it and try to make it seem like it's your own. What part of the game is that, man? You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Now, we know a lot of the same people, so I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, somehow, some way, y'all will see this message right here. You know what I'm saying? And feel free to get at me. I'm not hard to reach at all, man. Like I said, we know a lot of the same people. I ran into y'all a few times, actually, myself, a few times, man, but I didn't have these questions then at that time. I got these questions right now. Since you call yourselves the best, XB, you claim to be the best, XB, why is it that you copying black American music and culture and style, obviously, yet you refuse to work with black people? What's up with that, man? What's up with that? Philippines. You the greatest. Philippines. I love y'all out there. You know what I'm saying? Philippines. Philippines, Philippines, Philippines. Your main man, DJ Stan J. Yo, ex Battalion. Get at me, man. Straight up.